Alrighty, the Spirited Kitchen Recipes and Rituals for the Wheel of the Year. Everyday Animism Folk Magic Witchcraft by Carmen Spagnolia. So, like, I don't know if it's just because of the cover or, like, it being that, but, like, it does have some weight to it. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Here you'll learn the, to channel folk magic and, into every greeting, feast, and sending peace. In winter, Canberra custard tarts encourage health and well-being. In spring, deep dish nala quiche ushers in early resilience after cold months. Mm. Um, and calling to the chicken embodies the abundance of summer. Along the way, ritual crafts like salt spells, witches' ladders, and corn dollies set the scene with extra symbolism, complete with stunning photographs, tips on foraging, and a glossary of spirited symbols and ingredients. This book is an enchanting guide to seasonal magic. And I think it does, it can be that. And it does, um, can be a great starting point and, um, or continuing point. Um, so, like, in the contents, it has, like, what's in each um, chapter, which is nice. Um, so a long um, kind of like introduction. So, um, so the kitchen, like the kitchen witch pantry, um, so like pantry staples, like butter, stock, herbs, and like um, butter, she says all her recipes call for salted. Um, <laughs> but because um, like she's like, why bother with unsalted? But to me, I feel like the opposite. I'm like, unsalted butter, no on the salted. <laughs> but it's like preference, I guess. Um, so starts with. Um, Samhain and so you get like a page of kind of like information history type of thing and then you get into like the rituals and like the other kind of like information here it's um, making offerings and like here she has like a focus on like Hecate um, salt spells and like type of salts here and but I do have to agree that the photographs are really amazing. I could taste torch. Um, so, and so you get like a few things to make and then, so, um, walnut fortunes and then you get into the recipes. Um, some um, may be like this, so like, the grazing table <laughs> so you might get something like this like um, you get certain sections like this is um so main proteins and cheese and it lists some things grain crackers and nuts then it'll list um some ideas fruit fresh dried or both and then it'll give um some ideas and then okay continues vegetable raw or blanched Pickle, anything brined or fermented, and sweet. And then, um, like, what to do. And then, for, like, the, re um, not regular recipes, but the recipes, um, you kind of get, like, an introduction slash information, either about the dish itself, an ingredient, or, um, the recipe itself. Obviously, the ingredients, how many it serves, and um, the steps on how to make it. Obviously, so you don't get like that bit of information for like everyone. Um, respectable foraging. So. Um, Yule, brown tea gathering, 
making a centerpiece. So it, it is basically a cookbook with added information on making certain um, things. So getting into involved the quilty tree. Making a Bridget's Cross, the Bridie doll, and the and then it goes into the meals, like the food, and like for some of the like for a, a number of this like you could make it into like do a few like okay it goes spell jars, um, print eggs, but um. For some of this, like, take a few and you could make, like, a full-on kind of, like, meal, um, with dessert. Um, but, like, pick and choose, in, uh, like, what you like. Um, but it goes through, um, the eight sabbats. And then at the end, you get magical correspondences. So it's not divided up into like, here's correspondences for um, colors or plants, flowers, whatever. They're all kind of merged together into the correspondence list. So you get um, acorn, you get um, like adventuring, Bachelor's button balance banishing barley. So a number of different things combined, like a number, like instead of dividing it into different correspondences, she um, merges it into just one big glossary type of thing. And decent reference. Um, Two page, two like two full on pages. But like, if wanting a cookbook with like um, magical kind of meanings and a few things to do slash crafts or whatever, um, whatever you want to call them. Um, so, and kind of making like seasonal type of dishes, um, this can be a great book to look into. Um, yeah, it's gonna like 30 US, 40 Canadian. I got mine out of my library. So like it all depends on um, where you are, like, um, I guess it, like if you want it from the library, I guess it all depends on where you are. Um, I guess I'm kind of lucky that I found this at my library. Um, though the, like, I think the, like the witchy pagan section is, is kind of small, but kind of cool that they have, have this. Um, but yeah, overall, it to me, it seems like a good book and it seems like good recipes just from the photographs alone. So, but if you have tried some of the recipes in here, um, can you tell me how they are? Um, but yeah, The Spirited Kitchen, happy readings.